Hey friends, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another video and Laura is busy gardening because last time we made gardens and well the plants need water of course. Uh, okay. Um ooh, let's see if he has a nice no no oh. he has something nice for me today. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have that one yet. Yay! A, fly, a flow of pine cone. Oh, now I have all? Uh, he's been nice to me. I had many uh, flow tree saplings. And you know, when you grow a full tree and give it still give it water, you get a, a seedling. And um, yeah, I'm not going to pick up the baggies because I learned... That when you leave the baggies and you go do other stuff and come back to your plot, you know, the, the babies are still are there, there again. So, and you know, he, well, he may be dispelled, but he don't really drop good things. So I just, uh, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes I do. Anyway, anyway, anyway let's, let's, let's get to the video. Because I made these beautiful gardens. On this plot, and then on the other one with the ponds. And then uh, I was, you know, I was looking at this and like, uh, you know, uh, this needs to be finished as well because it has such a beautiful garden in front of it. And then you have this. Yeah, this is, uh, this ain't working for me. So I need to change this, and I think I'll do this in this video, but also, let me run through my house. This, this courtyard. I, um, I have no idea what to do with it. Only thing I know is that I want to keep this line of sight. To keep that tree in the middle. But, um, I have no idea. I'm just putting my, my seedlings here. To, to grow? No, no, I want I want to water them. That, that's what I do. I don't do more. I I have no idea. I have my uh, little work area here because you know it's easy access. But <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe a pathway in the middle so you keep. That beautiful sight. Okay. And then a little park going around it with benches. Hmm. Let me grab some random crap. Uh, stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. I didn't see crap. Random stuff. Um, the boxes are also. Oh, oh, oh. No, not you. This deck. And what else do I have? I can use bells. Yes. Those are work. Okay, let's let's figure it out, guys. Let's figure it out. And then straight girls. How's this? How is this? Uh it's 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 not bad. It's not bad. And then do like benches here. Um eight. Because I like symmetry in my um Build I'm doing now, and I'm missing one bench, but you know, gives the idea. Oh yes, yeah, so it's a park, and then, and because now it keeps the sideline right. I did not. Yes, still serene and it's beautiful. Okay, but then I have all those trees. Do I want to keep trees? So I'm I'm trying, you know, to have the this thing here with the tree behind it. But what I was thinking, like, because I want to keep it open, to, so you can see my beautiful courtyard and the buildings. So I can't put high things in front of maybe a tree in the corner, or, or, or like, like a tree nicely curved in the middle. We're here. And do, you know, I don't know, maybe with different trees. I don't know if that's nice. 
I don't know, but a big tree in the middle, that's, that's good. But I also had an idea that, you know, when, you know, you have a horse. I know they're not in the game, but the imagination. You come in here and then you can park it here, like a little horse park thing. Not, not, not with a roof, but just with um, some fences where you can hang... You know, put the lead on, and then some hay. And then you uh, can go to the reception here. And get yourself... Um, you know, project. I don't know, signed in. And then you can wait here until someone picks you up. There. That's an idea. But then it needs to be on this side, right? Because you go here. And here we have the kitchen. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't go there yet. And... That's spoilers. Sorry. Sorry. I've uh, been working there. <laughs> we have the kitchen there. And uh, this will be the... The mess hall. So maybe in sitting area here? Okay. You hear me going everywhere. So that's this is how my mind works, guys. I get ideas. Pop, 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 pop. And then I work some out. So... Hmm... Okay. Okay, I need to think about this. I need to think about this. So, I will do that. I What I'm gonna do is... Work it out. Maybe try one corner. Or give each corner a story. A purpose. And then I will be back. Is yes, that I will do. So guys, I did a few things. Like, I made this for the horses. We don't have... But, you know, imagination. There's one here, and one can be parked here with hay and water. And in the shade, I think this is cute. Maybe change it, I don't know. But it um, gives this little corner a function. And then I have the tree, and maybe just put flowers around it. And then some sitting areas, or on the edges, some flowers. I think that's nice. And when we do get... And then maybe... Do something here so I can get the shape. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I think I will, um, you know, what I, I do is let it sink in. And think about it. And come back later. Be Let's uh, do something else. Let's do something else. I uh, need to do my diggy pal today. And um, I just had leg spikes so I had to relock. But uh, do you know there's a nice hack for that? And it's not cheating, I promise, but uh, you will use the server hopping method. And if you are on Twitch, it might be a little bit harder and on a slow internet connection. And if you are out of patience, I recommend you not to try this, but the patient part. Because um, it can require a few... Or a lot server hub uh, jump. So, like you see, I filled up my complete my inventory. So it's red. And let me go to Bahari and I'll show you how it works. Bahari, here I come. Oh, there it is. I spotted it. So, I, what I said, you will need to fill your inventory with stuff that is not in the pile. Because mine now says full inventory. So this means it has stuff in it that I don't want. I want the recipes. So because I have no inventory space, it can't give me the um, fun items. And a recipe or a, a quest doesn't need inventory space. So you know, when you have that item, it will say loot, like normal. Like when I remove one item. I can loot, but no, 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 I don't want it. I don't want it. So I split it up. And then it says, you know, you can't. What you then can do is, um, you know, walk out, use your, um, you know, your Bihari entrance to your plot, or go to Klima, or ask a friend to, you know, can I come to your server? But what I do is... And then I start it up again. And I will be on a different server, I hope. I hope. 
many times, most times I am, unless I have many friends on the server online and you know, the game will bump you into that server. So you might need to hop a lot of servers or use a VPN and go all over the world. I have free one. Oh, oh hello, he's falling. <laughs> I think I don't see his glider. He yeah, he's going for the box. But as you can see, my inventory is still full. So it's not a fun item I don't want. So I need to do this multiple times. And then I hopefully get my last recipes. Because I have all of them. Except the, I don't know, ball thing. Um, I, so I've been doing this for a long time. And at the Klima L1 as well. Because... Uh, well, the game wasn't giving me what I want. I uh, The Klima one we have since uh, October? November, maybe? And it was giving me the five rocks and the ten fur or whatever. It was like... Mm. I and I had two recipes, maybe, for months. And then uh, I found this little discovery. And then I just got uh, all the items. But I missed one. And it's the... I don't know, leather with some towels over it, but I have been reading up and more people can't seem to get that, so maybe it's bugged? I'm not sure. No! <sighs> okay. <sighs> Today I'm not lucky, but I guess because I only need one more. Ah, I ran out of patience. I have been jumping a few times, but you get the idea, right? If you are missing many recipes, this is a lovely way, unless you need one, like me. It's a bit uh, annoying, but um, yeah, I'm, I ran out of patience, so uh, for today I won't do more tries. So I will just maybe go do some more Bambi, more Bambi murdering. No, no. Oh gosh, I was like, <gasps> loot! Of course it's loot, and You know, what did I get? Five stone! Yes, I just needed five stone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you get the idea. Let's, let, let me go through the steps. I'm just blabbing. I'm blabbing. Step one, fill your inventory with things that are not in the pile, like... Furniture, food, fishies... Books, uh, arrows, you know, items like that. And then find the pile. And when it says loot, with the full inventory, it will be a recipe or a quest if you didn't have them all. And if it says inventory full, then, uh, you know, it's uh, five stone or you fur or one sweet leaf. You don't want that. So you log out or jump server and log in. I join the server back, find the pile, and try again. And if you're lucky, you will need just a few jumps. But if you're unlucky, you might need a lot. We have this beautiful um, thing, the statue. And I want to dress this area up. Not too much. Not too much. Because the focus is, of course, the beautiful phoenix. I just want to frame her. And do something with the floor. And maybe on the bench and some lighting. I love the blue candles. So I think I will do more candles. And maybe more of the fire. And then something pretty on the ceiling. I'm not sure what yet. Or maybe just remove the light there. Not too much. Not too much. I'm not going to go over the top. I want it to be a serene place where you can go sit down. And meditate or whatever you do at the shrine. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Um, so I will grab some things. I will um, think about how to dress this, make some items, and then uh, show ya. Yes, I will do that. I think it's done. I think my shrine is done. I. Added a few things, but I think I now have a beautiful balance between blues, the whites, the little bit of gold, and it's midnight, so 
I think it's lit up correctly enough. What I did is I put in in the middle the Ravenwood floor decor with a moonlight. No, not moonlight. Moonstruck small rug on it because you know I like. Oh. I do like this, but I think I like it with the little carpet on top of it better. And then it also fits the entrance one. The moons and stars. And then I made a lot of those higher brazures. Is that the right word? Standing lamp. It's just a standing lamp. Ah, this is a brazier. Hello. <laughs> Anyways, so this is it. My beautiful Phoenix Shrine. It's nicely, um, you know, focused in the middle. And because the, the lights are kind of the same height, you get a really beautiful sideline. And it's, um, you know, it's, it's snug against the arches of the windows. I think it frames is really pretty. It fills the windows a little bit. But because I paint them blue and then it gives a soft grey... Well, how should we call it? Like the same as the pottery kind of uh, color. Matches really good. And the uh, arches on top of it are kind of hidden now. They don't stand out as much. I think this is... A Yes, a perfect balance between all the colors I'm using and what I also did because I put outdoor flowers indoor. If you look closely, I snuck some. How do you call them? Hello? There. No, yes, no, yes. Hermetic buckets underneath it. But you know, you have the little impression that they are in those uh, potteries, the faces. So. No, it makes sense. Maybe I'll remove it. I'm not sure, but I like it. So now I can sit here and look at my. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, no, yeah. Oh, yes, there we go. At uh, the shrine. I really love it. I did not do anything amid the ceiling because we don't have lights that are uh, long. And uh, I didn't want to fill it with lots of lights like, like I did in the other one with my uh, library. But I love this. I really do. And it's kind of simple. But it gives lots and lots of ambience. And yeah, I like this uh, gazebo. I will sh show you what lines I, what, what sets I used. So you get an idea. And I used, of course, a lot of emberborn. The brazier, the coffee table, and the standing lights. And then the moonstruck circle thing decor. Ravenwood, sorry. Ravenwood floor, the moonstruck small rug, the moonstruck rug. And the New Year benches from the lunar events we had. Beautiful blue candles. And if you don't have them... There's a quest line. I think the friendship of the priest dude. Um, he gives you those when you finish them, I think. If I if I don't forget, I will put it in the description. And if I did forget, forget you know, shout in the comments to me. And, and, and you forgot. And I want to know. And then I will uh, help you out. And I used, of course, my beautiful Ravenwood lanterns. I think they fit here. I didn't paint them. They're kind of dark, so I'm not sure how they will look when the sun comes up. I imagine they will look pretty with the woods, but then we'll see. And if not, I will paint them anyway. But I like the little altar here. Do no, no, not that one. And <laughs> uh, my phoenix, I love it. And behind the phoenix, I put one of those braziers. So. Let, let me, let me. Oh, see, it gives a nice glow be just behind her wings. You notice, you know, watch the tree. It's more light up. And you sometimes see flames. But yeah. Um, so when if you want to raise the phoenix up and you do have the 
There it is. And if you do have the little red... Where is it? There. The gift thingies. Gifts, I guess. You can raise her and you can put her on tables. On whatever. Where the, the gift can say stand, she can stand. So I don't, yeah, I don't think I want her too high. I think I like this height. So yeah. yeah let's continue. Let's continue. But I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So, um, enough blabbing, enough blabbing. So this is the Phoenix Shrine. It's finally done. So my whole garden here is done. So, oh, I'm so glad. Because last time I was a bit embarrassed that, you know, I made such a beautiful garden. And then, yeah, luckily I dressed a little bit, so it was not. Hey, okay, it's done. My courtyard is almost done. Almost done. I'm not totally done. Because I have no idea what yet what to do with some corners. But as you saw. It has flowers in it. And beautiful lights. And I made some paths. So this is my courtyard. My rough um, idea for it is. I wanted to ke keep the paths. But then I simulated some paths with the butcher blocks. Until we get the real ones. And then make corners, make rooms to divide this big space up. But I wanted to keep it open. Oh, 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 oh. Um, because it's a courtyard, I have seen pictures, many pictures, that courtyards are kind of open and boring. But as there are no cars and stuff in here, I used my imagination. And, um, well, if you have a horsey or a reindeer or whatever... Sure, look, they are driving, uh, sorry, riding. Take a bucket here, and I have a uh, Bambi in here that Oops. has a, a pile underneath this. Pretty. But the idea here is oh, to, you know, when you come here and you have a horse or a other method of, you know, riding. You can leave it here. There's hay, there's water. And then, you know, go where you need to go. So I did some um, flowers for the borders. Uh, I didn't do a lot because, of course, I hit the flower gap again. And I don't want to use too much items here because I still have many rooms to do. But because here is the mess hall. I made a little outside sitting area where you can play the loot or enjoy each other's company, tell each stories about the Avengers you had. And in each corner I have a tree. So from the top it looks really pretty. Right? Nice symmetrical with the fountains and the benches and the lantern post I have I had from the uh, lunar event I was sure to buy enough because I had an idea with the courtyard already even though this was not built yet but um, not all corners are done because uh, here it's empty I'm testing some things out there and there's nothing here and that corner is also empty because I have no idea yet what to do with it I need to think about that and maybe you can help. You know, what, what shall I put in the corners? Do you have ideas for me? I have no idea. I have no idea. But I hope you can help me. And because this tree is still my centerpiece when I'm here. But you now see a little hint of flowers. Oh, I love it. Out framed with the lighting in the back. On the front. Oh yes, this is a good... And you know, when we get pathways, I can... Um, Change this up. So now it's just grass. But anyway, my beautiful, beautiful courtyard. I'm really happy about this. So, hmm. I uh, I think next video we will do the mess hall. I've been working there already really hard to figure out how to plan that. So I think that will be the next video. And guys, I'm struggling with this. Sorry, I want to say stupid because it's stupid. Einar's pedal quest, pebble, it's for me broken or something? I know I have, I had all, but I can't seem to find the quest in my quest list, so I might have missed some. 
I'm finding that because I want that pretty, pretty wall thing and this big bad wall. Anyways, anyways, I will leave you here in my beautiful garden. And if you like my video, you know what to do to help me out. Leave a little like and a comment to have that silly um, YouTube algorithm think, oh, and it's here, you know. And if you're new, you can subscribe because I will do almost weekly videos about Palia, about my gameplay, and I give a lot of tips of building. I will leave you here. I will bow. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye friends. Bye bye.